Hey, it's Shelly from Best Buy's blog. I recently set up the AirThings View Plus and the AirThings View Radon in my home. And I can't say that I've ever thought about monitoring for radon before, but radon is a colorless, odorless gas that can be present in all homes. So it's definitely something that you're going to want to monitor for. It only takes about five minutes to set up the U Plus and the View Radon. And once you do, you can monitor for the air quality in your home or just the radon in your home. The AirThings View Plus will monitor for radon, particulate matter, carbon monoxide, humidity, VOC, air pressure, and temperature. So it has seven sensors in all. The View Radon will monitor for radon as well as humidity and temperature. Both sensors look almost exactly the same. They both come with batteries and you can also plug them into power and both will connect to the AirThings app. Because the AirThings View Radon only has three sensors, it can scroll through the sensors and you can see them right on the display. But the AirThings View Plus has more sensors and more info than will be shown on the display. So you'll need to see the rest of it within the app. Here's a look at what you'll see in the app. And one of the best things about these monitors is how they have color coded displays that allow you to see immediately what your air quality is like. So if you hover your hand or wave your hand in front of the display, a light will turn on and that light will indicate what your current levels are right now. So here is a look at it in the dark. So at that point I had been cleaning the living room and the levels, the particulate matter levels were quite high. So it flashed red. But in general, it says that the air quality is fair, so it's either yellow or green. And that visual indicator, that color indicator, just lets you walk past and see at a glance how your air quality is. And if it's poor, then you might want to open the app and take a better look. Thankfully, I had very low levels of radon in my home, but what I do know now about radon is that if it's undetected and it's trapped in your home, then you spend a lot of time breathing that radon in and ultimately, in the long term, it can cause lung cancer. So it's definitely not something that you want to have in your home and you can check the radon maps. There's radon maps online to see if there is high levels of radon in your area. But the best way to check and see if you have it in your home is to use a monitor like the AirThings V Radon or the AirThings View Plus. Once these devices are connected to your home's Wi-Fi, you can check on the air pressure in your home from anywhere you are. So it's just really nice to have that data on your phone. I, for example, thought that the air quality in the, my home was quite good and I was running an air purifier in my bedroom, but now I realize that I should probably also run it in my living room because the particulate matter in the air is very high. It takes about 30 days to properly calibrate the sensors on these monitors. So I did not have them plugged in long enough to have a full calibration, but I would definitely like to see what the View Plus would say about the levels of radon and particulate matter in my home long term. Now that I know about radon and the detrimental effect it can have on your health, I can't imagine not monitoring for it. And the AirThings View Plus and the AirThings View Radon make it very easy to monitor for this gas as well as other mat matter or carbon monoxide in your home's air. You can see my full written review of the AirThings View Plus and AirThings View Radon on Best Buy's blog. Thanks for watching. Uh -huh.